أكبر تحدي واجه رحيم هو رفض أمة لدخول الإسلام حيث أنها كانت تعتبر كل من يعتنق الديانات منافقا وخاصة المسلم تخيلوا معي سبعة عشر عاما لم يستطع أن يقول لها كلمة واحدة عن الإسلام Then when she found out she had cancer and it was a very bad cancer only three weeks uh, she had to live for the first time, for the first time, her heart softened towards Islam. Just a little bit. But it was, wallahi, it was a miracle. Because it was step by step by step. But the key thing, one of the key things, was she called me one day, when she was very close to dying. She called me and she said, look, I don't want to be buried. I want to be cremated. So I said to her, no problem. But I said, tell me this. If you're cremated, who's going to do it? She stopped. She said to me, well, what, what's the alternative? I said, I said, the alternative is if you die, then your sons, your sons, me and your sons, we will carry you. No one else will see you. And we will take you to a place and your daughter and your daughter-in-laws, they will wash you and they will prepare you. And they will wrap you in a simple white cloth. And no one will see you. And in one day, we will bury you in the ground. With no coffin, with no fuss. Very, very simple. She said to me, that's what I want. She said, that's what I want. But now I had a problem. She's not Muslim. So she phoned my brother and sister and she said, I want a Muslim burial. I would just try very slowly to give her small, small bits of dawah. If there is a creator, do you think maybe he sent messengers? Do you think maybe he sent people as guides? And one day she said, yes, I believe that. So Sheikh, for me, I was happy. For me, I was happy. She believes in a creator. She believes in messengers. I thought, inshallah, I have an excuse. I can make dua for her. I can say to the Imam, inshallah, we bury her as Muslim. But my son, he was then 14 years old. enough. He said, she has to say Shahada. So I was scared because I thought if he tries to make her say Shahada, then she will say, no, no, I don't want to say this. And then I have a problem. He said, don't worry, don't worry, Abba, don't worry. I will talk to her. So he went up to her bedroom he said, and I was downstairs for like one hour and I was walking around. Oh my God, what's happening? Does she say yes? Did she say no? And he came down. He said, easy. He said, no problem. I said, what? He said, she gave shahada. I said, properly in Arabic. He said, yes, Arabic fully, no problem. And maybe two, three days later, later she died. Oh. Alhamdulillah. 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 I had no plans to go for Hajj that year because there were too many difficulties in the family after my mother died unexpectedly like that. But then Islam Channel called me and actually their plan was not to take me. They asked me to go and I said, I can't go this year. I've got too many difficulties with the family. Then at the last minute when there was only a few days to go before Hajj, they approached me. They said, look, we've had some complications. We need you to come as the presenter this year. I said, I'm going to make Hajj for my mother. So within Within just uh, what three months of her dying, mashallah, I was able to go and I was able to make hajj on, for my mother and alhamdulillah share that with millions of people around the world. And, and so many people, called because she died in Ramadan, she died in Ramadan and I was doing TV work at that time, Allahu Akbar, people from around the world called and gave sadaqah in her name. Someone built a masjid in her name. So many orphans sponsored in her name. So, Allah is our Rahman. Allah is our Rahman.